and Princess Danny. So lovely. And who might you be? Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 4 of Storyteller Plays Metopia. I'm sorry for the cliffhanger in the last episode. Um, actually no I'm not. Let's talk to Princess Danny. The Dark Lord went to Greenhorn. What for? Is Sean okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm worried about my friend in town. Would you check on Sean for me? Yes, yes I will. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now please tell him that Danny is worried about him. You accepted Princess Danny's quest. I'll go do that. So what are your thoughts on what's going on, Minnie? It's a lot of work supporting the king. You gotta be really committed. You gotta take it super seriously. I don't remember if that's what you said last time. Still sounds sarcastic. Good luck, King Cop Out. Okay, if we were the princess's friend, where would we be hanging out? Ooh, gold snap. Hello there, little walking bag of $500. Oh, I appreciate it, Skip. I do still need to make Satu and Clairdwin better friends. And Clairdwin's magic stat will help a lot more when Satu casts spells. Ready to go, Clairdwin? Just smack it. And team Clairdwin won. Nailed it. And just 500 gold. Hey there, party people. What a sleepy day. Ah, an adventurer. Welcome to Greenhorn. This place was being tormented by the Dark Lord, but now it's quiet and a bit boring. Well, suppose I'd better put my feet up. Yeah, uh, who do you have to thank for that? Let's talk to Wake. Oh, joyous day. I'm in such a good mood today. I need a good old chuckle. Come on, laugh with me now. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Quality stuff. Oh, hello there, Zim. Oh, adventurer. Pasta's gone missing. I can't find her anywhere. Would you please help me look for them? Please. Sure. Oh, thank you ever so much. Actually, I asked someone else too. Maybe this is a bit rude, but I don't think they're up to it. So it's a relief that you're here. My child shouldn't have gone too far. Could you search near town for me? Yes. Let me go talk to my favorite couple real quick. Dawn. Tee hee hee. You're so cute, Emerson. You're so sweet, Hector. I feel like I'm dreaming. Shall I pinch you? Tee hee hee. I can't remember if they've said this before. If they have, you gotta sit through it again. Let's go. Here goes. Pasta, where are you? No, stay away. That voice. Somebody help me. Pasta, you can take them. I've got to do something. You. You get away from her. Quality. Mm, fun stuff. Mm, perfect. Ugh. There's nothing I can do. Please, save the child. Consistent voices, what are those? Never heard of them. Oh, it's actually turn. Good, using lightning. Yeah, Pasta could have taken these. Mm, team Satu won. Hopefully get some goblin ham for my two combat classes. Yes, one for each, actually. Wah, mommy! Besmirched noble's son, Sean. I hope I spelled that name right. I know it's spelled, you know, weird. Thank you so much for your help. My name is Sean. I mean, it's spelled how it's pronounced. It doesn't have the uh, old Irish spelling. So you're... Princess Danny is worried about you. The princess is worried about me? Oh. Focus, what in the world were those monsters? Those were goblins. With human faces. I turned my back and all this happened. And the way you handled those monsters. That was incredible. 
I was as useful as a chocolate teapot. I think I'll be leaving now. Well, that was an adventure. Whoop up up. Greenhorn Castle, here we go. Hello there, Boxo. You'll find Sean for the princess, won't you? Teehee, is that... Uh, so that's it. I can words. I'm going to assume y'all just keep regurgitating the same dialogue over and over again, so uh, I'm going to go eavesdrop. So Sean is safe. That's a relief. Please accept this reward. 1,000 gold. I appreciate it. We could always use better gear. Now, now, child. You must forget about that Sean trap. You are betrothed to Prince Sarah, after all. Is that clear, chomp chomp? But, Father. Mm, so, what now? I should probably see what Prince uh, Danny has to say. Sigh. I'm sorry. Please leave me be. Okay. Don't gotta tell me twice. Sweet automatic doors you guys have here. The princess's fiancé should be on her way. As a, And, ah, since you're here, will you please see her to the castle? Okay. Much obliged. The princess's fiancé is from yonder kingdom. She should be waiting at the arid frontier. Uh, could you head for the frontier, munch munch? Yes. Prince Sarah isn't that much of a gentlewoman. Poor old princess, heh <laughs> heh. Why are all of the guards so sarcastic? Or perhaps I'm just interpreting it that way. Let's go! The arid frontier. Honestly, I'm already overheating. At least it's a dry heat. Cool, we've got somebody on the horse. My backside is getting sore. I think they call that saddle soreness. You know Princess Danny's friend? Yeah, he seems kind of unreliable, huh? Well, he's probably a good person, right? Hm, yeah, I suppose. Anyway, let's go find Prince Sarah. This is hot on the legs. Oh, combat. The food that these guys drop is really good for defense, except Satu doesn't like it because, like, they don't like anything. Cledwin's turn. Here it comes. Woo! Team Claridwin won. And that's that. I mean, this time it's because she rode the horse, but Team Claridwin... When did our, uh... Cleric become the most powerful team member. Uh-oh, the mood is tense after such a long journey. Be careful. No, you be careful. Ugh. Grr. Humph. Are we going to have a fight breakout? We are. That is the last straw. Likewise. Oh, well, that, at least we get to see some squabbling in the next couple of fights. Oh, great, a branch in the path. Y'all know what that means. I've got to have to... I'm going to have to take both. I can words. Oh, I might fall. <gasps> a chest. Let's open it. Ooh, some sandwiches. Why did I, why did I say it, sandwich? So, ready for this. Aw. I didn't get to see what I uh, was being said. Oh, just some slimes. Hopefully we get to see some squabbling later. That's what we're all here for. He's just skipping Nido, duking it out. First quarrel, sulk. Hmph. <laughs> ah, so Skip is dealing less damage because they're upset at Nido. Well, that's not one of the good quarrels. First quarrel. Distracted. Tut. Oh, 
Skip let their god down. Wow, Skip really is just the one uh, perpetrating all of this, isn't it? Aren't they? Oh my. Mm, silly Satu. Just because Skip is a low poke doesn't mean their pronouns are it, it's. Somebody in my series uses those pronouns, although I've already forgotten who, because I'm that terrible of a friend. Oh, sweet, everyone leveled up. Backflip occasionally dodge physical enemy attacks, which... Actually, never mind. Skip isn't cool. I was about to say they do anyway. Nido is the cool one. You can tell I only play this once a week, because I keep forgetting who's who. Well now, Skip and Nido aren't seeing eye to eye. The best, for thing, uh, best thing for them now is to sort out their differences as they room together. Put them together, and they'll surely sort things out. Let's hope they make up soon. Well, it looks like a lot of people want to interact with a lot of other people. So let's just do that real quick. Oh, it's the wig event again. Time for a new look. Huh? Yes, go. Be back in a sec. What do you think? You look like that one character from the uh, bad Sonic cartoons. The one that has a crush on Tails. So, do you like anyone? What? I'm not telling. What? Tell me. I'll tell you who I like. May I have lost interest. And their bond grows. And sort of likes. Lend a hand. Help a friend out with their next action and boost its effects. Bust that dust. Clean, clean, clean. Yay, go you. Nito is cheering from the sidelines. Yeah, that's what that is. That's cheering. Maybe sort of likes. Praise. Sh uh, shower a friend with compliments. See, I knew you could do it. Hey, listen to this. What? So I heard something about Satu recently. Stop gossiping about me. I wonder what they're saying. Wow, is that true? It seems so. You'd never tell just by looking. Just goes to show. I never would have guessed. Oh, well, at least it's positive gossip this time, I suppose. Level 8 probably likes learned charity. Give a snack to a friend when they don't have one, of, uh, one on them. And of course, Nsetu overheard it. Which is interesting, because I, in real life, have awful hearing. Hey, a void horse. Mm, someone's in a bad mood, huh? How about a treat? Horse is so easily bribed. Oh, and it leveled them up. Let's see here what we've got. Level six, sort of likes. Nothing new. Oh, well, this fight looks pleasant. Oh, cool. Actually, nope, Satu's not good enough friends with the horse to use, uh, Snort. I've got to get everybody friendlier with this horse. Way to go, Clairedwin. And then they just throw a rock. You okay? Clairedwin does not look overly bothered. Jump slash. Well, that is one way to get rid of those annoying moles. And she missed. Oh, Nido butted in this time. Which I guess makes Nido the hero of this adventure.
Nice, that's some good foods. And a chest, it is three game tickets. Hell yeah. I swear this horse always wants to interact with Skip. All done jumping. Let's have a look-see. Hope there's some food left. Not hungry today, huh? Well, that's no good. A horse should have a healthy appetite. While we are here, let's get a thousand dollars. Gold snurps have hit really hard. And these two are uh, fighting still. Although that's not a bad thing. Nita doesn't lose his turn. First quarrel, Moody. Now you've done it. Healing self. Eventually, Claire will not have a full party heal. And then she'll never use it. From the looks of it, Moody is another one of those good uh, quarrels. Thousand gold. And Skip is riding the horse this time. And can't wait for some grub. Ooh, a hole. Well, something freshly buried. Looks like something's buried here. Dig it up. It's only maybe a scorpion or something. It is a single piece of candy. I don't know if I would trust it, but you know, each to each their own. One person's trash is another person's treasure. Ah, uh, just some storm clouds. And skips turn. And touch. Oh, being distracted. And team Nido won, as to be expected. Nero loves that goblin ham. And since Satu doesn't, I've just been giving it to Nido. And skip. Learned explosion and invoke uh, invoke an explosion, sending all enemies up in flames. And a single one star cotton candy. Cledwin likes these. Well, Cle Cledwin loves them. Everyone else likes them. Hey. Yeah. I've been thinking. MP candy. Those things are huge. I can't fit one in my mouth. What do you mean? I just swallow them whole. But how? That was a conversation. Of all of the conversation these Mies have had, that was one of them. It's one of the more cursed, too. Darn it, branching paths. Oh, well, I guess this one makes sense. Let's go for the treasure chest. Almost shattered my war cry there. Mm, just two rocks. I can probably speed these fights up. Oh, it is Skip's turn. Yippee. Yeah, Cledwin, your attack stat's not exactly going to help Nido too much. I think I have the friendships in this group, Bass Ackwards. Although I've tried having them interact with others, and they just keep, you know, switching around. Like, they ask to be moved. No more fighting. Yet, you and Skip should stop fighting for sure. It is six fifty gold. I'm doing okay on the money front. Can I take a nap? Eventually. Just some clouds and some moles. New skill. Explosion. Like, comment, subscribe. Yippee! And Team Satu won. No problem. Well, of course Satu won. Did you see the size of that explosion? The inn's gotta be close. Oh, hey, it's the inn. <laughs> oh, 
Level 4, maybe sort of likes. Nothing new, though. You know, horse, I'm trying to get these two to get along better. This isn't exactly helping my equine friend. We saw Skip do this in the last episode, I believe. Yeah, what do you do? Ah, uh, you befriend the horse. And pet the horse. Horse's friend. Let's get down to business. This again, to defeat the Huns. Don't sue me, Disney. Awesome green snurps. These unfortunately don't drop anything good. I don't even think they're a good source of experience. Wait a sec. Watch it. Needle butt it in. Well, Skip doesn't look too bothered by it. And Satu's also going to need some higher attack stat. They don't like anything, though. Safe and sound. Yuck, I'm all sweaty. That's so. You two are both wearing, you know, robes in the desert. Uh-oh, these two are quarreling. Be careful. No, you be careful. And here comes Void Horse to defuse the situation. Oh, Void Horse. Sorry, buddy. Adorable. There are good outcomes to uh, court, like them quarreling like that. And such as you saw. What? Branching paths? This episode's gonna go on for 3,000 hours. Except that I don't, I don't show most of the exploring of the paths. Honestly, I probably show significantly more than I have to. Oh, there's something on the ground. These two are together a lot in scenes for people who are fighting. Whew. A likely story. What does that even mean, Nido? What have we found? The big chest. It's what we came here for. And it is... Leather vestments. Cledwin got them. Just going to equip them as vanity, though. Or not vanity. I'm going to equip just the stats. That's what I meant. I've made this mistake before. That hairdo really suits you. We're as free as the wind. I can words. Oh, just some poison mods. We're showing off a cleared one. And that was a short fight. If we get any butterfly jelly. Or honey? Yeah, butterfly honey. Cleared one's going to be happy. We got what? We have won. I hope that hiccup was just a one-off thing and I don't have the hiccups, because that's going to make recording kind of difficult, honestly. Another branching path? Well, let's go this way, I don't care. Ah, oh, that was a good night's sleep. Maybe. Oh, three moles. This could go on for quite a while. Although I've never seen them dodge magic, so Satu should help this go more smoothly. You did it, Satu! Didn't make any effort to dodge that either, though, so maybe the moles are just losing their touch. And Team Satu won. Yeah, Satu is starting to become overpowered, which is what I want. But too overpowered is not fun, so I'm going to have to try to find some balance here. That path really does feel like we just took the long way for the hell of it. Oh, the quarrel is over. Nido is forgiven. And on the other side, Skip is forgiven. It's weird that it keeps capitalizing skip. I don't do that. Who's ready for some pampering? Whoa. 
here's a treat. Why do I feel like it was Skip that did this last time as well? I could be wrong. Heck, there's a chance I've never recorded this. Skip could have done this on my other file. I'm growing closer. That was a full heart's worth of growth. Sort of likes. Sweet, somebody else can use Snort. A little Snort with a big effect. Deal damage to all enemies. Now I know I usually don't give the ticket to the person who got the item out of the chest, but Skip and Nido have been heavy, uh, featured pretty heavily so far. It's the big one. You can do it! That is... It's a cherry salmon! Woohoo, good work! That's a relatively small fish, honestly. Sure, it's strong, though. Also, this river is very shallow. Where are we getting these fish? Oh, a chest. We got three more game tickets. Hallelujah. And now we're approaching that weird turn from earlier. I wonder if there's going to be another weird option. Can probably just close this loop here. Hey, Satu. Have a candy. Aw, because Satu's been using spells this entire time. Probably unnecessary, but that was extremely sweet of Claire Dwin. And Satu has a lot of MP. No, I will not explain why. First cautious work, finisher. Yeah, Clairdwin can just sometimes one-hit KO enemies. Nice one, Clairdwin. Nita was looking elsewhere. Look out! Come on, succeed. Heck yeah! I don't know if that's the first time I've caught that working, but a lot of firsts in this small video clip. And they missed immediately afterwards. Can you believe I had to do this map a third time just to go down here? Does anything interesting happening? No, nothing interesting happened. Glad my time is so valuable. <laughs> nope, we've got some dorks being dorks. We're gonna get serious. We'll bring smiles to the faces of the people. Training time! I'm glad everybody gets along so well. Their bond is as strong as their muscles. This is one of my favorite interactions. We're going to be seeing it a lot in this series, but it's just so funny. When a friend falls, flare up in anger with a vengeful strike. First assist, snort. Let's see what variant we get. Ah, just the weakest. This horse breathes fire, you know. We'll see it eventually. These two sure are interacting a lot. Oh, Golden Snurps. I'd like to imagine that was just making fun of Satu in the opening, but none of neither of these people would have seen that. Well, I guess one's a cat and one's a slowpoke. Level 10 likes. Learned sacrifice. This is still great. The distortion in the music just makes it. Take damage in place of a friend. They won't lay a finger on you. Passport, money, clean undies, selfie stick. Come on, let's go already. And they're just hanging out on a resort. That honestly looks like an abandoned island with only a shack and a um, hammock, but whatever. It was so much fun. I know, I was there too. Level 5, maybe sort of likes. Learned Praise. I need these two to learn Assist. The journey continues. Our goal lays in sight. I'm feeling great. Where could Prince Sarah be? Can we go back yet? The air's so thin up here. Well, I suppose we could give up and never find the prince. What? I, erm, um, I suppose I can go on a bit longer? That's the spirit. Void Horse looks happy. Hey, don't push. Misato, you are in the back. Yay, branching paths. My favorite. 
Nobody is telling me I have to play the game this way. I'm just doing it this way. We've got to strengthen the team. See every single interaction. The completionist in me, which does not exist, there is no completionist in me, demands it be done. Headpats, please. And team skip one. And piece of cake. Two butterfly honey. Of course, Claredwin will be happy. Literally, nobody else likes butterfly honey. I think two of them hate it, actually. What is this? Game tickets! I just lost a lot of those trying to get some golem steaks. Oof, my aching back. Nito's getting old. It happens to all of us. And it's that turn. 23 damage? How much health do those butterflies have? Well, I guess it's a moth. Technically, they're all moths. The rock having a lot of defense makes sense. Uh, one moment. Oh, that sneeze is going to be fun to hear later while I'm editing. Ugh. I'm 26 years old and I cannot sneeze without hurting myself. Oh good, it's a short one. Only one other branching path to take. Probably. <gasps> we just got a letter. It is from the Gourmet, who I still don't have anybody in that role. Oh, my stars! This is it! The zenith of flavor! This texture! This aroma! Incredible! From Flavio. Three outing tickets. The goal is in sight, but we're nothing if not massive dorks. So, uh, let's clear all these stages. Snorts, what level? Ooh, highest. That blue fire, which I should be recording more of, is the strongest level of snort. I mean, it upgrades later, but that's another story. The blue is always the strongest, but there is a stronger blue, is my point. Learned whirlwind blades, dance like the wind, slicing and dicing many enemies in your path. Nido learned nothing new. Clairdwin learned Righteous Anger, also known as the Begone Thought. Dispatch an enemy with the light of absolute, absolute justice, I can read. It's a one-hit KO, but its success rate kind of sucks. New skill, Whirlwind Blades. The amount of times that can land is determined by how many people helping with it. Which makes it one of the more powerful moves if uh, all three team members join in. Our goal is not far now. It would be immediate if I wasn't coming back here. Let's go! And Skip gets to ride the horse. Need some kitty cuddles. Well, Claire one's right there. Oh good, branching paths. Will I regret deciding to go down every path on camera? Probably, I mean, I don't even show most of it. Unless something like this happens. Gah! Erg. Who should we have help? Let's see if Claredwin will do it. Claredwin did not notice. Oh, but Nido is here to help. Are you okay? No. I was ignored. I'm trying to get the two magic users to be better friends so that they'll assist one another, but the game is uh, on to me. It doesn't want that to happen. I haven't done that in a while. I totally missed what was said. I wasn't spacing out. You're spacing out. <laughs> it is Satu's turn. Satu does a mounted attack. Probably could have taken out both of them with one explosion, but you do you, I suppose. Cledwin's turn. I'm getting ready. The monster is usually taken out before Cledwin can actually attack, but it's a guaranteed crit if uh, she does manage. Yeah. Wasn't going to happen the moment the horse became involved. Although Nido probably could have taken it out without the horse, honestly. That was tough. No, it wasn't. Cotton candy. Good HP food. I think they all kind of like it to some extent. 
Except maybe Satu. Satu doesn't like anything. <sighs> this mountain climbing is no joke. I can't feel my legs anymore. Listen to you. I could do the climb a hundred times. Cledwin, are you okay? Do you need a piggyback ride? Really? Wow, you're the best. Hey, I want one too. You just said you could do the climb a hundred times. Very valid, Nito. Although I feel like that was weirdly in character for these uh, characters. Like it picked the perfect three to be in that scene. It's Cladwin's turn. I don't think she's good enough friends with a horse to use Snort. Nope. Neither is Satu, but every time I put Satu in the room with the horse, the horse wants to talk to somebody else. Which is, you know, only a tiny bit heartbreaking. It is Satu's turn. Satu wouldn't use Snort in this instance anyway, but it would be nice if the option was available. Team Satu won. And that's that. Because Satu is OP. Satu gained a level. No new skills, though. Some good food. I found out Skip likes those Choco Rocks. And so, well, you know, they don't need the defense. It's not, it's not bad. Can never go wrong with defense. Ah, uh, 200 gold. Not really a lot. But beggars can't be choosers, and I literally just found this on the ground. Well, in a box on the ground, but... On the ground, nonetheless. Oh good, this doesn't have too many branching paths. Yes! IRL Skip's favorite emoji is a blushing Maui statue. Maui? How do you pronounce that? Now I feel like an ignorant jerk. Well, I'm ig I am ignorant. I'm not a jerk, I'm just stupid. So of course you can actually have this. Horse only ever wants to interact with Nido. I don't know why the horse doesn't just marry Nido. Except that that would be weird. This is... We just had this interaction. Learned cheek rub. What's wrong? Low MP? A little cheap cheek rub makes things all better. Makes all things better. I word school. Oh, another buried item. It's a good thing Nido doesn't find these, because if Nido fails to dig it up the first time, you know, he'll just give up. Nothing. Come on, Satu, just keep digging. Something's gotta be down there. Dig, dig, dig. A small amount of money. Yay. Nice. 89 gold. You lost 12 HP doing that. Ah, 520 gold, not bad. 420 would have been funnier, but... Beggars can't be choosers! And Satu bought a present. Surprise! And this is for you. Satu gave a present to Claydwin. You sure? It is... A Satu doll. Satu, didn't you already give Skip one of these? Stop handing out voodoo dolls. That's weird. Uh-oh, Skip's like Satu and saw it all. Always Cledwin, it's not fair. Skip is jealous of Cledwin. This is the first time I think Satu has given Cledwin a gift. And if not, it ha doesn't happen too often, because I don't remember it happening. So my goal is right there. Let's see what's up here. Oh, a much better climate. It's called, uh, Chili Peaks. Tis Chili... This is probably just pronounced Chili. Let's head back. <gasps> Who is that? Grr, keep me waiting. Grumble, 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 grumble. Huh? Prince from a nearby land, Sarah. You know, my Mies have been pronouncing it wrong this entire time. Or spelling it, anyway. They're spelling it with an H. This is Sarah without an H. They should be ashamed of themselves. You imbeciles! Take me to the princess this instant, and don't you dare dwaddle. 
Why was I waiting out here alone, you ask? I was attacked by a monster. I made a valiant attempt at vanquishing the brute, but my pathetic servants couldn't handle it. Bah! They left me no choice but to flee from battle. Yeek! Ah, oh, don't worry, it's just a little blade weapon. Come on, team, we can take this thing out in like two hits, or not. Or not three. Come on, Nido. 52 damage! Yeah, this griffin has a lot more health than I gave it credit for. Why does it get to attack three times in a row? Looks like it's time for me to step in. Are you going to actually do anything, Sarah, or are you just saying you're going to do something? I wonder if Sarah actually attacks. Let us see. Don't KO it. Okay, so Nido just dodges. Would be cool if Skip dodges as well. Nope, doesn't backflip. Sarah's turn. You dare challenge me, you scoundrel. Such insolence. Nope, that's just what Sarah does. She talks a big game. Yes, everyone, consume bananas. It's Cledwin's turn. Come on, Cledwin, you can finish this monster off. I believe in you. Or not. This griffin just has a lot of health. I should be using sprinkles to assist my group. Have some HP. Oh, it's empty. I'm used to having quite a bit more than that. I don't know how much health the enemy has. Have you not had enough yet? Magic? Let's go ahead and just use Explosion, even though it's almost dead. 34 damage. That's what we like to see, Satu. Like, comment, subscribe. Mm. I will feel that in the morning. Nobody leveled up, but we got a two-star griffin roast. I think we all know who I'm going to give that to, but I am predictable. The victory was hard fought, but my expert swordswomanship pulled us through. Oh, I spy the castle. Princess Danny! Your beloved Prince Sarah will soon be by your radiant side. Every character in this game is a dork. Including me, I'm a character in this game. Well, where is Prince Sarah? Ah! You've returned safely, we see. Splendid! Here is your reward. You know, your daughter gave me more than that, and I didn't even do anything. Your daughter, you know, Princess Danny. Who uses he, him pronouns? Bye. <laughs> Hehehe, <laughs> I managed to sneak in here. Tee hee. Aw, oh, they're in love. Princess Danny! It is I, your beloved Prince Sarah. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. You. You dog. What are you doing with Princess Danny? And who are you supposed to be? Oh, nobody special. Only the princess's fiancé. Prince Danny can't marry a dork like you. Princess Danny, sorry. I won't allow it. Look me in the eye and say that. Grr. Things are getting heated up in the love triangle fandom. Please stop. Stop it, you two. What on earth is all this commotion? It's good entertainment, that's what this is. Those three are in a state. Maybe some calming fruit would help. Might we ask you to find the one for us? Sure, I'll go do that. I'm doing everything else around here. It would help immediate immensely. The fruit's somewhere deep in the forest. Good thing I already cleared all that out. Oh, it's there. I'll give you a little something first. Thank you. Totally given. You've given me a total of uh, thirteen hundred so far. Be quick about it, please. Munch, munch. 
Okay, I'll go do that. <gasps> Ooh, a rare snip. Or not a rare snip. Tasty snip. One moment, this is important. These snurps give the best food in the game. Well, the two-star variant is the best food in the game. But it raises all stats, so it is... Muy bien. A uh, horse. Mounted attack is likely only gonna hit... Likely going to only hit one of them. I've managed to give myself the hiccups. Come on, Skip, you snort. You snort. You snort. And it's the weakest variant. Healing Satu. Much appreciated, Clairdwin. And because it brought their friendship up, it's going to heal Satu completely, even though the spell did not. They learned to get well soon. Visit a friend in the safe spot to speed up their recovery. Yes, there we go. Buy Viola on Steam. Satu was looking elsewhere. Did not notice in time. Magic, let's go ahead and use fire. This'll finish it off. I appreciate it, Skip. Take that, Team Satu won. Still in one piece. Come on. Ah, one, one star is not too bad. Two two stars would have been great, but highly unrealistic. Let's go! Need food. Let's enjoy the little victories, such as acute starvation. What a battle. Sean really let loose, huh? Princess Sarah's a bit, you know. Well, if he's her betrothed... I feel bad for poor Princess Danny. I should have changed that to she's his, but you know. Since both pronouns were there, I just used them. Whoa! Let's follow it. Ah! You found a hidden path. Check it out. Just, nah, let's not. Let's just go ahead and I think it leads it to the chest. Who cares if this episode is 12 hours long? Not me. Are we lost? Not at all, we're, erm, um, yeah, we're lost. Ah, oh, it'll be alright, it always is. As long as we keep moving, we'll end up somewhere. That's totally obvious and ridiculously unhelpful. Yeah, you'll end up somewhere. Don't be a negative Nancy, Satu. Found an inn. Upturn, <laughs> upturned, obtained 30 different foods. And Nito is riding the horse. Let us go. There should not be branching paths here. This is just a chest, hopefully. And some green snips. Okay, Satu, still can't use... Eh, let's just try a horse-mounted attack. Go for the one in the middle. Maybe that's how you get the... Uh... There we go, sweeping attack. Perfect. Like, comment, subscribe. Do it. I know you want to. If you're already subscribed, why not unsubscribe so you can subscribe again? I mean, don't do that, please. Especially if you forget to resubscribe. Wow, branching paths, yay. It's like all my Christmases have come at once, only I don't celebrate Christmas, really. Because I'm a raving heretic. <gasps> Another fight. The mood is tense after a long journey. Watch it. No, you watch it. You gonna, you gonna say something, Skip? Now, now, have a bite of this and calm down. Munch, munch, munch. Sigh. Thanks. Remember, you're not you when you're hungry. Eat an HP banana. Which are manufactured. I don't, I don't know if I trust that. Maybe don't eat an HP banana. Hey, it's the plants we get bitingly better tea from that Satu doesn't like. I'm gonna turn auto battle back on though. 
<laughs> Satu knows what they're doing. Need HP bananas. Yoink. Yeah, supposedly that can fail, but I've never seen it happen. All three of them missed. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, hey. I love how it muffles the music. I will have no vor on my channel. Although there are worse things. Give her back. Nido's turn. Aim for the weak spot. Mars Me Trap spat out the, uh, its catch. Fedrin flew out. And of course, I too just finished everything else off with an explosion. Whew. And we got one Sinatra Sunday. Or Strata Sunday. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Sinatra. Yay, more branching paths. I'll be here all week. Giddy up. But I'm sure people would watch an hour of uh, Meatopia shenanigans. Mmm, Satu's turn. And go for the sweeping attack if possible. Or just kick a butterfly in the face. You do you. Okay, skip, snort, make up for uh, Satu's foolishness. Nice. And the plant still lived though. Can we get an F in chat, y'all? There we go, plants taken out. Oh, I am starting to get tired. I've only been recording for an hour and 18 minutes. A lot of that behind the scenes stuff, though. I want a cat. A big chest. Let's open it. It is a jewel staff. Cledwin got it. It is pretty, but let's just only equip the stats. Oh, Nito and the horse grow closer. I want to go to Skip's room. Okay. Edwin's going to put on a wig for us. Time for a new look. Huh? Let's speed it up, see what it looks like. Ta-da! Edwin, don't have white slash gray hair. If this was an anime, you'd be the first to go, I think. Them's the rules. Level, 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 level 11 words. I can word. Okay, I'm making the executive decision to do the rest of the branching paths on that later. We're going to see a lot of the same interactions over and over again, so I don't know that I'll be recording every branching path going forward. Although, at least for right now, because I'm an hour and, what, 25 minutes into recording. I'm going to look at this video file and not want to edit it, so... For now, let's just, uh, skip it. I'll probably do that off-camera. If anything cool happens, I'll just record it using the 30-second record feature. And if it ends up bad, like bad quality, because I'm not using the capture card, then, you know, what are you gonna do? Woohoo! Yippee! We'll see! What does that mean? What does that even mean, Nido? Oh, well, we zowie, I'm tired. But what are you going to do? Oh, cool. I mean, neither of these two have good attack stat, but... I'm glad they're helping each other out. Managed to take out the uh, Mars Me Trap, or whatever it's called. You know, because it's not like a Venus fly trap. Eh, the joke explains itself. Nailed it! More bitingly bitter tea that unfortunately... Go away, random scam phone call. That unfortunately Satu doesn't like. I was thinking, if everyone ate some calming fruit, I bet we'd get rid of the f uh, all the fear and worry in the world. Eh? 
What's brought this on all of a sudden? I'm just saying, if we do find this calming fruit, we should grow more, get people eating it. And then we can take over the world as its benevolent overlords. What? No, stop talking like that. Just kidding. Ha 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 ha. Grr, you. Stop fooling around and keep looking. Yuck, I'm all sweaty. Yeah? Me too. Of course, you two are both wearing robes. We've been over this before. Although I'm going to only assume that Skip's bird costume has a bunch of, like, fake fur on it. So, probably also really hot. Still thinking about last night's meal. And I can't even imagine what Nido's armor is made out of. <gasps> Two Mars me traps. And Satu's turn. Still can't snort. 43 damage. Didn't even take it out in one hit. Skip's turn. Showing off a Nido. Well, we took out one of them. Uh, it's almost June. Who decided that it should be this hot? It'll definitely be June by the time this comes out. And Satu's being consumed. <laughs> Give them back. Good, the horse is coming to my rescue. Good thing I can't die in there, apparently. Thank goodness. It's like if you were trapped in a, an iron cage and somebody's like, I'll get you out of there, so they just start filling it with TNT. But somehow you're fine. You managed to get out alive. I am not a happy puppy. Don't say that. People are allowed to be upset. Is the calming fruit around here? Could it perhaps be in this bush? There we go. It's just on the ground. You got the calming fruit. Now let's go give this to the uh, royal family before things go sour. We found an inn. You've rescued 300 people. Yeah, nobody wants to see this. Safe spot's now safer, though. That's cool. Yes, they learned snort. I want to go to Satu's room. Clairdwin just keeps jumping around. I swear they do this. They don't want to be in every room except the one I put them in. Oh, Clairdwin bought a present. I uh, got this for you. I hope it's okay. Clairdwin gave a present to Satu. Thanks. It is... A mirror. I'm not that vain. I feel so happy. Satu's ex happy though, I guess. In real life, when I look into a mirror, it simply shatters. Learned charity. Of course, Satu does that anyway. Uh-oh, Skip likes Clairdwin and saw it all. Always Satu, it's not fair. Skip, you need to pick a lane. What the hell? <laughs> now that we have the calming fruit, let's return it to the castle. Huh. I like what they've done with the place. What on earth happened here? <gasps> There's an imp. I suppose we'll figure out what's going on and fight it next time. Thanks for making it this far. If you did like the video, if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. I'm excited to see where this story takes us. I can't imagine that, you know, wrecking the place is all that happened here. But you'll have to see what happened in episode 55. Not episode 55, but like... You know what I mean, I'm just being stupid. Farewell!